Welcome to Summit Awesome Games. Good looking people, my name is Rob. We are playing Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. We're gonna get all the diamond gnomes. The first one is possibly the hardest, possibly the easiest, depending on who you are. So we're going right from the start. You don't need to have beaten the story or anything like that for this one. So you can get this one straight away as soon as you get to the woods. And this one has a puzzle. Now, as a 30 year old man that has used computers for a very long time, I recognize this type of puzzle as what at my school in my okay I want to sound like a complete loser here we had laptop club it's just because we had laptops at school it's called laptop club it's gridless it was like a griddler game and this is exactly it. I've never actually seen this in a video game so this is crazy so what it's saying is three of these in this column have to be lit up and then each row has to have one lit up so that's a simple ding 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 Dunzo. It's kind of like, think of it like a pixel art Sudoku. So we know each row needs one. This bottom one looks like it needs three. So the whole bottom row is lit up. And then that top one, you see that bright column needed two. So I don't know if this is random for you because like the last time we saw these crystally glowy things, it was randomized. Uh, but if it isn't, just copy my end image as we work this out. So you can see, I think you need two in that one. We got two in that column on the left, two in that column on the right. We need a couple down here. So we have to readjust and change it up a little bit. Now th this is the mama, okay? This is the mama. I'm not gonna go through this entire thing and be like, all right, there's seven in this row, there's seven in this column. That I'm just gonna skip to the end and you can see how it's lit up. Cause it takes a little bit longer than I would like for a guide. So just copy this. So you can see here, we've got all this lit up, and then I think it's just the top two because we needed a row of six. And then those ones made sense. It made like a, almost like a little mushroom looking thing. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Usually with these kind of things, they're pixel art type things. So I'm looking at this and going, all right, there's six there. We've got five in there, maybe it's this one. Ding, 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 matches up, perfect. So copy that, if it is the same for you. I don't know why it wouldn't be, because it would mean they'd have to create different solutions, but maybe they did. Um, that is gnome, diamond gnome number one. Diamond gnome number two and three require you to have built the boom box to put the woods to sleep. And boy, is this woods incredibly fun. Luckily, when you put the woods to sleep, they actually show you where the other diamond gnomes are, because Oh, holy potatoes. This is not a fun place to navigate. This is not a fun place to be searching around for. So as soon as I saw these, oh, I went for them. Oh, baby, I went for them. I was like, I hope the, I hope the diamond gnomes are in there. Oh, man. What I'm not looking forward to is doing the golden gnomes. This place is wild. This place is crazy. Now. We're looking for a button. It's just down the, it's just down the bottom here. I missed it for a little bit. I did like a full lap. Cut out the lap. Down there on the right. So you come in, go right. It's down there. Push the button. Use the, uh, the thr I want to call it a thrower upper. Use the thrower upper to go blow yourself up here and be careful with them. I have very quickly learnt that they are not very, uh, it was uh, responsive with those things. It's not like an immediate you land on it. It'll shoot you off. I've run into the water. If you if you run around this area a bit, I've run into the water way more times than I would care to admit. In fact, I'm not going to tell you how many times it is because it's a lot. The amount of times I've switched that one on by the water, I'm like yeah, all right, launch me, and then I just run off the edge and fall in the water and die. And like, cool, that's great. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you very much, game. So just go up, just go up. I don't know what, I've only, I've literally only played the foot soldier. He was the first one and I'm like, yeah, he'll do, he'll, he'll be fine. He's got a rocket pack, he's perfect. He's got power, he's got his gas grenade. He's perfect for exploring. And so far he is, he's great until the end. In which case, I'm not sure. So there is diamond gnome number two. Now we'll go get 
number three. Number three, so remember how I said that first one was probably the easiest yet hardest one? Once you know how to do the puzzle, then it's the easiest one. Just like that climbing one is pretty easy. Number three, on the other hand, this one we're going for. Uh, once again, thank you Boombox for saying, hey, there's probably a diamond gnome down here. Shoot the heart of the plant, the plant will disappear, and ho ho holy potatoes. This one, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know guys, I don't know. I have a little bit of a tip that worked for me, but oh my god, what, what the heck is, what the heck is, that's all I gotta say. So this one is a 50 marshmallow type deal. Pay the marshmallows, then the boss comes out. Now this guy, there's nothing special about this guy. He's pretty easy to kill. It's his friends that might frustrate you because if you get near them, they warp you out of the area. And guess what that means? You failed <laughs> and you have to go back and you have to do it again and you have to pay the marshmallows. Luckily, I found this. I wanna climb up here. I wanna be that guy. I'm gonna be like, you know what? Those little bombs can't get me when I'm up high, right? So I might cup a few hits, but once I start taking too much damage, I might do a little lap, lure them around. But up here is what saved my life. Up here, as dumb as that sound, keeps me away from those dreidel spinning top things as well. Keep, stay away from me. Get away from me. Go up here. I'm just gonna sit here, shoot the poop out of this guy. So it, this might work for you, you know? Because, I mean, you're still gonna cough damage, but it keeps those bombs away from you. It keeps those spinning tops away from you. And you can just sit here shooting. And when you get confident, you can get down on the ground and finish the job. Ha ha, take that. Uh, Foot Soldier worked fantastic. I have no idea if someone else works better. I, I'm not kidding when I say I've only played the Foot Soldier. I don't know what anyone else does. I don't know if there's someone out there that's amazing and incredible. But you're probably saying now, hey man, that's great that I got the Diamond Gnomes, but this place is wild and crazy and hard to explore. Let's go find the Gnome Shrine, shall we? I'll, sh I'll show you where it is. So that way you know where to go and actually deliver these Diamond Gnomes. Maybe you haven't found this place in here, in the Sneaky Train. There's actually two entrances. There might, there might be three, actually, but there's two. You come out of two trains, one on the left side, we went on the right side, and here it is. Your Diamond Gnomes are donezo, all three of them. Now last time I did the diamond gnomes, I showed you the boss fight, or at least said like, here's what you get at the end. I would love to do that, but it turns out my foot soldier is only so good. And what is behind this door is very difficult. Even for me, I tried it about, I'm gonna say four or five times, which is a long time, okay? It's a bit of time because they're long little battles. And I had to, I gave up. I had to give up. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, uh, people gonna, people might want this guide. When these updates come out, it's 3 a.m. for me. I'm asleep. So I'm a little bit behind. So I gotta rush through the game, catch up. And I was like, all right, I can't beat Bath. He's whooping my butt. And I had to call it. And I was like, all right, Dominoes will do for now. Bath seems so difficult. He might be his own guide. Maybe with teammates. Maybe a bit of cake, but going solo, holy potato sacks. It is not fun. 